Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be doing cloth simulations. Now we've got quite a few things we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering constraints, hooks, uh, cloth simulations. Now we'll be using Simply Cloth as well, and if you want to pick that up, there is a link in the description. But we will be going through the manual process as well. So sit back. If you want to jump around, I do have the chapters set up. So if you want to jump to certain bits, go right ahead. If you haven't already, subscribe helps me out, boosts the YouTube algorithms, oh, and the like and comment and all that jazz. Meh. <laughs> all right, let's just start off by deleting that default cube as always. And what I'm gonna do now is add in a floor plane. So let's go shift a mesh plane and scale that up. Now what I'm gonna do is import a character. So I'm just gonna get file, import FBX, and I'm just gonna double click on my character. And this chap is from Reillusions Character Creator 3. And these animations are from ActorCore. So you can see him just strutting his stuff. Going for a nice walk. Oh, that's nice, buddy. <laughs> Let's come back to the start. What I'm going to do now is add some empties to attach our cloth simulation to. So I'm just going to off-click that. Let's go Shift-A, add in an empty. And what I'm going to do is just add in a uh, sphere empty and scale that down. Now we need to attach this to the armature. So let's go over into Object Constraints over here. Add object constraint, child of, target will be armature, the bone will be un L underscore clavicle. There we go, and that's now attached it to there. I'm just gonna scale that in a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of position it just so it's sitting about there, just on top of the shoulder. Let me bring it even back a little bit. And we'll do that for the same. On the other side, let's go Shift D, right click to put that back in place. Change this to R underscore clavicle. There we go. And then we'll do the same. I'm just gonna position it just on the shoulder roughly where I want it. That's looking good. And then if we kind of have a look at the animation, we can see him strutting his stuff and that those empties are stuck to his shoulder. Brilliant. From here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna create our cape. So I'm just gonna press numpad seven. Let's go shift A, add in a mesh, add in a plane and tab into edit mode. And I'm just gonna position that kind of like where his shoulders are. So something like this. Let's go into top view with numpad seven. And let's scale that around. I'm gonna go G, let's rotate. I'm gonna press Control R to add some edge loops in. And so something like that. I'm gonna grab these two vertices here with Control left click and go GG so it moves along the edge. There we go. So that's gonna be kind of like the basis of our cape. Let's bring that down actually. So let's go G, there we go. So we can see this is where it's gonna attach. So maybe what we'll do is we'll actually bring these up because we kind of want it to hug his shoulder, if you know what I mean. G, Z, something like this. Cheese and whiskers. Let's maybe bring that back just a smidgen about here. That's not too bad. We'll fix this up in a sec. What I'm gonna do now is grab this edge here and I'm just gonna extend it. Let's scale it like this and we'll make it a nice long cape. Actually, we'll make it a cape that goes along the ground while we're at it, about there. I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of edge loops just to give it some love. And then I'm gonna grab these. Let's go Control B to do a bevel. And that separated that mesh. And we'll just put some extra edge loops on the side there. Let's come in and just clean this up so it's not intersecting any mesh. G, something like that. Beautiful, looky, looky, looky. So from here now we're gonna make pin groups. Now we can do this through simply cloth add-on where I can go create cloth, go into edit mode and we can create our groups through here. So if I select these three vertices because these are the ones that I want attached to his shoulders, I can come over and go create new pins. The other option is you come into the vertex groups. Let's select our sides there. I'm gonna press plus sign group. This one will be R underscore clavicle. Let's come over into the other side. There we go. And this will be L underscore clavicle. Now what's important is this simply pin group that we already created up here actually covers both of these. So if I deselect them and I go select, we can see they're on both sides. Now why am I saying this is because this is important. When we come into the cloth simulation in shape, pin groups, we want simply pin because we want to pin both sides, not just one side, but both sides. So let's press tab to go back into object mode. From here, we need to parent our cape. 
to our empties. So let's start off with coming into the modifiers. I'm gonna go add modifier and a hook. I said that really weird. Let's go into objects. Let's select our empty. And this one will be the left clavicle and we'll do it again. Let's go another hook, this empty. And this one will be our right clavicle. Now what we need to do is drag it all the way to the top. So before the cloth simulation, and if I go back and press play, we'll see that the cloth stays there. And the stupid idiot that I am, I forgot to assign these. Silly, silly Marco. So this one will be our right, assign. Let's go left, assign. And then from here, I'm gonna press play. And there we go, we've got our cape. However, he's going through him. And we can see it's going through the ground. So let's first start off. I'm gonna select the floor plane. Now with simply cloth, I can just press activate up here. Or what I can do is come into the cloth simulations collision. There we go. And so now if we press play, we should collide with the ground, you little ripper. Now we want it to collide with the person. Now what I can do is I can select his clothes and his pants and the body separately. I'm just gonna select his body and I'm gonna create a collision just up here. And now you'll see that it will be slow as a dog. So let's fix that. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to shift D to duplicate this mesh. <laughs> funky town, funky town. And let's come back into our first and we're going to remove the collision. So remove collision and we'll come back to one. What I wanna do is come into the modifiers. I'm gonna add a modifier and go decimate because at the moment we can see that the wireframe, it is pretty full on. I think I can go about 0.05 and you can see just how much we've taken off that. From here, I am going to press control A, but it's gonna give me an error. That's right. And that's because there's shape keys. So let's get rid of all our shape keys. We're not gonna be worrying about this one. Delete all shape keys. Then we can come to modifiers, control A, and we've applied that modifier. Now, I think if I press play, it'll still have a bit of a hissy fit. Nope. So that looks way better. Now, obviously we don't wanna be rendering that. So what we can do is come up into filters, enable our viewport display and our render display. And then I'm just gonna remove them too. So if we come back to the start and press play, there we go. Look at that, la -dee da Let's select our cloth. What we can do here is reset the cache. Um, whenever you're doing cloth simulations, I find that that reset button on simply cloth just fixes so many problems. Um, but if we go press play, it looks, it doesn't look so much better. We still apparently need to have that in viewport display. So let's come back to the start, reset, press play. There we go. And obviously we can come in, we've got just a standard. We can give him a bit of a silk. There we go. Nice, shiny, silky, smooth. <laughs> I'm Batman. Not really. <laughs> so we've covered off a lot of skills here. We've done modeling. Um, we've done, eh, not really rigging, semi-rigging. We've done relationships with constraints. We've worked with hooks, empties, and the cloth simulation. So we covered quite a bit. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps updating my content.